This is a retelling of my very first animated story time that was uploaded a very, very, very long time ago. It is now privated. Don't ask me to unprivate it because it is hot garbage. Thank you kindly. Back when I was 10 years old, after years of trying to convince my strict African-American parents to let me have a sleepover with my friends, one day they finally gave me the opportunity. So my homies come over and after eating up all my parents' food, using up their electricity and drowning our dirty bodies in bath water, you think that we do what any kids growing up in the early 2000s did, you know, build forts out of bed sheets, use our imaginations and play with Beyblades, maybe play a little bit of PS2 all night, which is what I wanted to do. No, when they saw that I was fortunate enough to have a family computer that my parents worked so viciously hard to get, they had other plans. My friends were built different. They knew about things that at the time I wasn't aware of. Every man's introduction into manhood. They knew about the village hidden in the hub. So deeper into the night, we chilling, playing some Mortal Kombat on the PlayStation 2, and we, well, I was getting hold every fight because they always wanted to pick the broken characters. Get over here! Stay over there! I was locked in, trying to get at least three wins minimum, but as for my friends though, they were getting pretty bored. Yes, I told y'all I'd win. Suck my- You didn't win anything. I put my controller down 20 seconds ago and you're just now noticing it. Calm down, you're not that good. Respectfully. Now listen, your parents asleep? Yeah. Alright, so look, we want to show you something on this website we know, but it's a surprise, so don't come into the living room until we give you the signal. And we gotta be quiet while showing you because if the volume's high and it wakes up your parents, brother, and sister, we might be in a sticky situation. Stop it. Get some help. Mm-hmm. Okay, just tell me when. I'll be playing the story mode until then. So I give them the login to the computer and they go to the living room. Two minutes later, they give me the green light. So what did y'all want me to see? And thus started my journey through the village hidden in the hub. At that moment, I felt like I had just awakened my sharing gun and ascended into a new level of reality because before that night, I was always told about the birds and the bees from my dad, but I never thought that they had a website for it. <laughs> I guess my mind wasn't the only thing getting blown that night. <laughs> Fast forward three years later after just watching it and I eventually found out how to Stupid lotion I think it's jammed I need a I need to get a new one That uh that became a routine for me Wait till nightfall, make sure everybody's occupied or sleep, close my door, and get to bussin'. This only became a routine for me because nobody ever came in my room at night. Except for me. That's why during my routines, whenever I close my door, I never locked it because pff, what are the odds of somebody walking in on me when I literally haven't had anybody walk in on me at night in years? <laughs> Like, what do I look like? An idiot that's finna make a rookie mistake? So one day after school, I waited till nightfall, made sure everybody was occupied or asleep. I walked up to my door and I stared at the lock for like 10 seconds hesitating because something was telling me to lock my door. I walked back over to my bed and opened my laptop that my parents worked so viciously hard to get me. I pulled down my shorts because, you know, I wanted my twins to breathe in my rod to get ready to meet Palmelina. And the second I click over to the video on the site. Devante, do you know what the... Oh, hey, hey, ma. You need something? I thought at night nobody... What? Crap. I only had enough time to pull up my pants and I didn't have time to close my laptop. So don't walk over here, ma, please. Don't walk over here. There's nothing more sickening than seeing the look of disappointment on your mama's face. Nani? She grabs me by my ear, takes me to the living room, and puts me in front of my dad. Tell your father what you were doing. I, I was watching the hub. You was watching what? The, the hub. Don't repeat it. But, but you told me to go back to your room. I got something for you. Is it a hug? <laughs> it 
Y'all know I didn't say that hug part. I would've got my teeth knocked out if I did. However, I did get beat with the fattest leather belt. For the years after that, this situation didn't make me stop my dates with Paul Molina. It just taught me what to do to not get caught. <laughs> No 